Question six, in guinea pigs, brown coat color is dominant to white coat color. You raise 215 guinea pigs and find that 150 are brown. And so 150 have the dominant uh, phenotype, the rest are white. So again, we, um, if you have the dominant phenotype, you're either heterozygous or homozygous. So that's why I always start with the recessive phenotype. So how many uh, in terms of percent are the white phenotype? So um, 215, minus 150 is 65 uh, are the white phenotype and what's that in percent so 65 divided by the total which is 215 equals 0 0.30 0 0.30 have the we're going to use brown as dominant to white so we'll do like the genotype little b little b this be little b capital b and so on and okay, so it says calculate all the potential frequencies. So let's kind of, here we go. Uh, 0.3, what's the square root of 0.3? 0.5, so Because remember that equals 1, 0.55 and 0.45, that must equal 1. P squared, so squared. Take 0.45 and square it. 0.45 times 0.45. 0.45. Two, zero. And then again, remember that uh, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. So um, looks like this must be 0.5. Then that would equal 1. Done. Question seven, in a population that is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, again, that's um, described on page 298, 299 in the textbook, the frequency of recessive allele for a certain trait is 0 0.2. So that is uh, telling us that Q squared equals 0 0.2. Oh, nope, the frequency of recessive allele. I read that wrong. The frequency of a recessive allele. So if we're talking about not the genotype, but just the allele. Okay. So now, let me paste this again here. Now we're looking at just this being 0.2. So we're kind of starting in a weird, different spot here. This is 0.2. Okay. Uh, what percentage of individuals in the next generation would be expected to show the dominant phenotype? So those individuals, p squared and 2pq, because uh, this would be the homozygous dominant, this would be heterozygous, right? Okay, so that's what we have to calculate. So let's go ahead and move around here. So um, I will go ahead and let's let's go ahead and get q squared here. So q squared, uh, what's 0 0.2 times 0 0.2? 0 0.2 times 0 0.2, 0 0.04. And then let's kind of move this direction so we can also get get those as well. So um, this must be 0 0.8. Square that. 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. 0 0.64. And then so what's this? Well, 0 0.64 plus 0 0.04. And the difference of 1 is uh, 0.32. So add these up. 0 0.32 plus 0.64 equals uh, 0.96. And so what percentage, so this would be 96% of individuals would show the dominant phenotype of the trait. Hope the videos were helpful. Send me a message if you have any questions. Thanks.